you like hot rods, motorcycles, cool places, and wide open spaces, come with us as we take a cruise down the one and only Route 66. Arizona is not only home to the longest stretch, it is also home to the most colorful stretch of this historic highway. From the Painted Desert to the Colorado River, you can still drive what's left of old Route 66. Motorcycle and car enthusiasts have always enjoyed Route 66 and continue to do so today. You can find a car show or a bike rally on almost any weekend, somewhere on Arizona's Route 66. Hot rods have always been a part of Route 66. This is the 2009 Kingman Street Drags, just one block off of historic Route 66. Spectators and drivers come from all over to be part of this event, held every summer in downtown Kingman. Today Route 66 is known for hot rods, Harleys and cool places. What better place to take a cruise down America's memory lane? But Route 66 wasn't always fun and games. During the Depression and Dust Bowl of the 1930s, Route 66 was a major path for migrants headed west. For many, this proved to be a long, tough journey. After the crop dried up, couldn't pay the bank the money I owed them, so they took back the farm. I heard there was lots of work out in California, so I started walking. That was three weeks ago. I had $12 when I left. Hope I can find a job when I get out to California. Clem Hogwaller, July 28, 1932. In the 1950s, Route 66 became the main highway for vacationers headed to California. In Arizona, Route 66 went through the Painted Desert and within 60 miles of the Grand Canyon. Route 66 served as a major highway for over 50 years and was officially closed on June 27, 1985.
When Interstate 40 opened, everything changed. As Route 66 began to disappear, so did the towns and businesses that lined this once important highway. For a while, it looked like all would be lost. But over the years, Route 66 had been romanticized through movies, songs, and televisions, and refused to slip quietly into history. In 1987, the historic Route 66 Association of Arizona was born, led by Angel Del Rio of Seligman. Within one year, the group had a 158-mile section of old Route 66 to Clatter State Historic Highway. Today, this is the longest continuous stretch of old Route 66. It starts near Ash Fork at Crook Road and runs west through Seligman, Peach Springs, Truxton, Hackberry, Oatman, and Topak before it meets the California border. There's a lot of places where you can still find forgotten pieces of Route 66, just a few hundred yards off Interstate 40. Today, people come from around the world to drive America's highway, the most famous highway in the world, Route 66. Uh, we are a group of 23 people from the Swedish Corvette Club, and uh, we are the biggest Corvette Club outside the U.S. with 2,400 members. So, and we are doing the Route 66, Chicago to Santa Monica. Nice. How are you liking it? Very good, very good. Yeah? Ah, it's just nice, nice, and especially the, this part, Arizona. Welcome to Route 66 in Cool Springs. This building was built in 1927-1930. In 1930, they had a booming business because Route 66 was the only way to get to California. Uh, in 1959, the big road went in, I-40. They pretty well stopped the business here. They abandoned it in 1963 and sat empty from 1963 until 1991. In 1999, Ned Lecter from Chicago bought the property, the 40 acres, and decided he was going to build this building. Uh, he, had, he built it, took him two years from 02 to 03, and in 03 he went, ah, what am I going to do with it? So he made a gift shop out of it. And it's built exactly the way it was in 1930, and uh, I am the manager of the property. We're open seven days a week from nine o'clock till six o'clock and they come in and look and browse and there's a lot of uh, uh, history here and I'll try to tell you the story. Today Route 66 is reborn. Towns that were once lost are now decked out and memorabilia from Route 66 heyday of the 1950s and 60s. Towns like Seligman, once all but forgotten, now receive tourists from all over the world. There's Kingland, the heart of Route 66. But of all the towns on Arizona's Route 66, None are like Oakland. Welcome to Oakland, everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas. It's Billy Bob Bob, live and direct. Oakland, Arizona. This little town receives about 500,000 visitors a year, and all of them arrive on Route 66. Tourists come from near and far to visit Oatman, and they get a taste of the Old West. Welcome, partners. Route 66, welcome to Oatman. Right in the middle of Route 66, I'm going to shoot this gun. Oatman is a favorite destination of local car clubs. 
These are members of the Route 66 cruisers, taking part in Oatman's annual Christmas parade held on Oatman's main drag. Route 66. During World War I, Oatman was the nation's largest gold producer and experienced Arizona's biggest gold rush. This whole area has a rich history. Long before this was Route 66, it was the Beale Wagon Trail, which is still celebrated today. Oatman is a must-see for anyone traveling Arizona's Route 66. Between Oatman and Cool Springs, you'll also find some treacherous stretch of old Route 66. This is Sitgrave Pass. It takes you up and over the Black Mountains in western Arizona. In the 1930s, travelers would hire local drivers to get them over Sitgrave Pass. Today it is still quite a road that winds through some beautiful yet unforgiving desert. You don't have to be a car buff to enjoy Route 66, but it probably helps. Today you can find cool cars, cool places, and lots of history all up and down America's highway. Hi, my name is Les Patty. Back in the 50s when I was a kid, my dad was a traveling salesman. Back in those days, he spent two, three months at a time on the road. And Every summer when school let out, he picked me up and I'd spend the whole summer on the road with my dad. We did a lot of Route 66, man. Hundreds of hours of traveling, long, straight, two-lane highway, pitch black. Little towns are 100 miles apart or better. We'd drive all night long, stop. Next day, he'd set up his canvassing procedures. I remember him telling me, if you ever get in trouble out here, just stop. Any of these ranchers out here help you out. Don't worry about it. Get tired, pull over. Cops would just ask you what you're doing. Seeing that you were getting some rest, they would just go down the road, no problem. It's a different world back then. It's a different country. It was the spirit of the pioneers, Route 66. Over the years, Route 66 has been called many names. America's Highway, the Mother Road, Main Street of America, Will Rogers Highway, and more. But today it is still Route 66. After all its historic ups and downs, it's still here. Still here, offering a taste of freedom and adventure. Still here, offering the road trip of a lifetime and a rare glimpse into a time gone by. If only this old highway could talk, what stories it could tell. Today, Route 66 is more popular than ever. All up and down this old highway, you'll find attractions and ruins of attractions. History and more history, dreams and dreamers. This is Arizona's Route 66, America's memory lane.
Route 66 was open, the route was open in 1926, but it wasn't until 1927 that they gave it the name Route 66.